AT and Tim here. Welcome back to EDU and 9Beat. Many of you requested tricks for using Google Search in the classroom. And on this episode, you'll get exactly that. Search is our oldest product, but the team that works on it is continually adding new functionality to the product. So to wrap up season three of EDU and 90, we'll spend these last two episodes sharing our favorite Google Search tricks that you might not be aware of just yet. <sighs> Today, let's focus on ways to use your search bar that go well beyond simple search result links. Let's start with translations. In our increasingly connected world, communication across languages is more important than ever. And you can translate words and phrases right from your search bar with support from more than 100 languages. You might enter translate in a specific word or what is elephant in French. And speaking of globalization, did you know that currency conversions can be quickly made with Google Search? Whether they're writing a compare, contrast essay, or maybe even planning a visit to a neighboring country, students can quickly learn how currencies match up to each other. Try typing in how many euros in a dollar for interactive conversion tables. And as part of their research for that compare and contrast essay, students might be interested in things like population, GDP, or unemployment rates. And this sort of public data is available in interactive charts via search. Try typing in population of New Zealand to view it over time and in comparison to large regional cities. Next up, if you're making a decision as a class or studying probability, Google Search can help there too. Try typing in roll a die or flip a coin into your search bar to see if the odds are in your favor. And to wrap things up for this episode, younger students might be excited to learn that typing in animal sounds into Google Search brings up a whole host of interactive cards with animal noises. Give it a try for a little fun. We're out of time for today, but we'll be back next week with some additional tricks. See you then. Looking for some helpful tools to take your lessons to the next level? Check out our last episode, where we look at apps for creating engaging presentations. <laughs>